devotees that are very sincere and endeavoring with pure bhakti, they won't go to any heavenly planets. They'll immediately take birth on this earth planet to continue their bhakti bhajan immediately. So it says where. So I, I so now it says now what the, we heard about where rich family or Brahmin family or high go to high planets or devotee family transcendentalist. So Prabhupada in that purport he's saying that the Goswamis and the Vans Goswamis, Advaita Vamsh and Nityananda Vamsh, they are transcendentalists. They are transcendental parivars, durlabham. It's very nice. So then he said, so what do they do when they take that birth? E- either it be Brahmin family or wealthy person's family, aristocratic or wealthy family. What do they do? They tatratam buddhisam yogam labate porva dehikam. They labate, they gain what they saw before. Right? Labate porva means porva dehikam, porva dehi. Purva Janam, you heard this term, Purva Janam? So what they saw before, they will take up again. On taking such a birth, he revives the divine consciousness of his previous life, and again he tries to make further progress in order to achieve complete success. Buddhisam Yogam, Bhuya Sam Siddhi Kuru Nandana. So again, he tries for perfection. Now 644. Purva abhyasena teneva riyate yavasho pisa jinyasur api yogasya shabda brahmar tivar tate. It says avasha. Avasha means immediately, immediately, automatically. Avasha actually means immediately, automatically. Purva abhyasena, purva abhyasena yavasha. That automatically he takes up. The practice, his heart, his riyate, his riyate, his heart is automatically attracted to the way of sadhana and the abhyas, the daily practices of sadhana he performed in his last life or she performed in her last life. Puja or cooking for Takraji or prikama or chanting or studying Shastra or speaking Harikata, all different types of sevas of the Navavita Bhakti. He becomes naturally inclined. And then, uh, then he, 645, prayatna yatamanas tu yogi sam shura kil bisha, aneka janma, aneka janma sam siddhas, tato yati param gatim. So now, this time, he makes it. He sincerely endeavors. Pratyatnat, pratyatnat, he rigidly practices yatamana, yatamana. He, he works and he endeavors and very hard, the yogi. Sam shudha, kilbisha. He becomes sam shudhi, completely purified of kilbishai. Kilbishai means sins. Like we hear that verse Krishna says in Gita, those who don't offer their food, verily they're eating sin. Kilbishai. Papa kilbishai. So that phrase kilbishai. So that then they ultimately, after many verses, and they. It says aneka aneka janma samsidi and that aneka janma it doesn't say go back home back to God in one birth <laughs> get the get the card get the invitation to the Sunday feast with the address and in the front it says Chanarai Krishna be happy then you go to the temple they say yes welcome to Chanarai Krishna be happy land this is Chanarai Krishna be happy land and so welcome I hope you never leave and I hope you stay in this land and land of chant be happy. And be happy. And you just you come to Mangalarti, you can chant your rounds, and you go back to Godhead, back home, back to Godhead, in this life. And you'll go really fast back to Godhead if you sell prophets' books. Oh, okay, that, that's the formula. Let's do that. And let's get out there fast. And that's what they tell everyone. That's nice. But here, Krishna's not agreeing with that. <laughs> Krishna's disagreeing with that very fired up, enthusiastic preacher of Krishna consciousness. He speak, he's preaching Krishna consciousness, but Krishna himself, I mean, no one's more Krishna conscious than Bhagavan Sri Krishna. <laughs> and Bhagavan Sri Krishna is saying that you work, prayatnad, 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 
You have to manas to. You work your tail off. I mean, you work, you know, <laughs> you work like a dog day and night and, and eating one chickpea a day and, and sleeping, you know, one half hour a day and chanting five lakhs a day. And then, aneka janma. Aneka janma samsidi. Aneka means many. Aneka. Aneka means, after Prabhupada's translation, after many, many births. So Prabhupada is translating that <laughs> Bhakti Bhajan, you, you may practice life after life, and it'll take many births to attain complete city. Because there's no some city until there's some shud. First some shud, then some city. Very nice. Krishna's explaining like that. He says that uh, in Pada 2, of the verse 645 Gita, Yogi sam shuda kil bishai. And then in Pada 3, after, after many births, after many births of, after many, many janmas, a naked janma of sam shuda kil bishai, purifying one's consciousness and heart of all, removing and purifying and cleaning out all anarthas and aparats, then one will get some city, perfection. Perfection means what they call going back home, back, back to Godhead, going to the Nitya Leela of Radha and Krishna to serve them. 